up everybody? One on an x-ray. Oh, that just hurt. First time oh, on the bike with the finger. Oh, I haven't been able to ride for over a week. So I'm just getting out here. Whew, making it happen. I haven't done a normal vlog and I don't even know how freaking long. It's been a long ass time. But uh practicing my clutchless shifting here. Oh, no clutch. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's hideous. <laughs> oh. oh it hurts so good. I'm still i have still not going to work or anything, so I just been kind of lazy, just laying around the house for a week, and I just have nothing to do. So, what better thing to do than come out here and film some video? The bike is filthy, as I use my left hand to clean it. So I, I haven't really attempted to use my right hand or anything. I haven't. I just haven't attempted it. I need, it needs it bad though. It's it's really really dusty and dirty. Chain's clean though. <laughs> At the cost of this. Turn on the radiator fan there. Oh. Even though it's like a hundred and five twenty degrees. It's been crazy hot here, my neck of the woods lately. But uh, I've been, I was in bed, just lying in my bed, just with some extreme pain. Cause they had to, when they did surgery on my finger and they had to, uh, they had to trim the bone uh, almost all the way down to, to this knuckle, the second or first knuckle, whichever way if you're coming from the front or the top or the bottom, but uh, that middle knuckle right there. They had to trim it down almost to there and uh, sew the skin and muscle tissue uh, over top of it. So that there's a, a soft cushion and it's not, you know, if I were to bump, touch something with it, it didn't just hit the bone. It had muscle and skin to cushion it a little bit. So, they, so I get this, I had this really deep, if you ever broken a bone or had surgery on a bone, you, you know what I'm talking about. You just get this really deep bone ache. It's, oh, it just sucks, basically. But uh, it's, it's to the point now where I can, I can uh, at least do a little ride. As long as I just clutch a shift, I'm pretty much okay. But uh, yeah, it was funny that like the third day after my surgery, after I got home from the hospital, I go and I fall asleep because they put me on oxycodone, oxycodone, ox, oxycodone, and uh, they put they put me on these, which. By the way, it doesn't help with the pain very much at all. It just, it's, it's basically just a sleeping pill. It just knocks you out. And uh, I was having to take two of those about every four hours. And it, it just knocked me out. And uh, I'd go to sleep and it sucked one time because I fell asleep. And I I had a dream that I was riding because I, I was starting to miss it a lot. I had a dream that I was on the bike and I was... I was riding and then someone pulled out in front of me like from the one of these side things. They pulled out in front of me so I looked down and I go to grab the clutch and the brake in my dream to uh, uh, slow down. And uh, I woke up with some pretty excruciating pain because I had actually moved my hands as if to grab the clutch and brake whenever you know, I was just dreaming, and oh man, that hurt like a mother. I was like, I was just laying in bed like, oh, for like 10 minutes. That sucked, but it was 
really funny at the same time. And uh, I should be back, you know, full speed in uh, no time. I got another doctor's appointment on when Wednesday, next Wednesday, and uh, he said he'll probably just be putting a band-aid on it. For a while there, I had a big sling and a splint on my whole entire hand and wrist, and I mean, it looked like I had broken my arm or something. I'm glad. I rigged up, uh, me and one of my friends rigged up a uh, uh, radiator fan switch, which is right here, a toggle switch. So you can kick the radiator on, uh, radiator fan on whenever you want to, instead of it waiting for the it to start like overheating, basically. My bike, my fan doesn't kick on till 2:20 normally, and I just don't like it getting that hot. It just seems like it's too hot. And of course, since you since it waits till 2:20, it stays at 2:20, and then you pull it to a light. And it's still at 220, and it starts getting even hotter. You know, just very, very slowly, but it still gets hotter. So I kick it on at about 180, 190, and it just pretty much stays there. And when you get up to a light, you have a, you know, long way to go before you you start overheating or anything. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it right here. Uh, it's good, good doing this again. Uh, it's it's good to. Uh, be back on the bike and good to have a camera in my face. <laughs> Alright guys, talk to you later.